Hey everybody, my name is Jason. Welcome to my Knot channel. In this video, we're gonna have a look at how to tie this super easy trilobite paracord bracelet. Okay, so let's head on over to the work table and take a look. To make the trilobite paracord bracelet, you're gonna need approximately 15 feet of paracord, a paracord clasp, a pair of scissors, and a lighter. To begin, first cut your paracord to a length of approximately 15 feet. Then with your paracord cut to length, you can now melt the end with a lighter and then squish the melted end flat with your scissors. Be careful because melted paracord is very hot and can easily burn your fingers. Squishing the paracord flat will help later on when you pass the end through your clasp. Now that you've melted the ends, it's time to find the center of your length of paracord. You can do this easily by bringing the two ends together and then running the length through your hand until you find the halfway point. Now it's time to start tying the Trilobite paracord bracelet. For this project, I'll be using a paracord jig. You can easily make this bracelet freehand without a jig, but the jig will help me keep my hands out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Begin by tying a girth hitch with the center of your paracord to one end of your clasp. To do this, you want to pass the paracord through the top of the clasp and then feed the length of your paracord through the loop you've created. With one end secure, we can now look at the other end and how to attach it to the opposite side of the clasp. So to begin, you'll need to feed both working ends through the other half of your paracord clasp. Like the first part, you'll feed your paracord through from the top of the clasp, and then pull all of the standing line through the clasp. You'll now need to tie a girth hitch with both of these working ends. Let's start on the right side. Bring your working end to the center of your two cords, then cross it over your right cord, and then pass the working end up through the bottom of your clasp as shown, keeping it under your working line. Adjust the line and cinch up your knot. So that's one done. Now let's do the other side. So we'll repeat with the left cord. Bring your working end to the center of your two cords, then cross it over top of your left cord. And then pass the working end up through the bottom of your clasp as shown, keeping it under your working line. This will be a little snug, so you can squeeze your other strands to the right side to give a bit of space. Once you have your working end through the clasp, adjust the line and cinch up your knot. You probably want to also adjust the tension of your line so that they're equal on both sides. Next, we'll bring both of our lines up and pass them through the top clasp one more time, passing the cordage again through the top side of the clasp. At this stage, your paracord bracelet setup should look something like this. Now let's start to tie the Trilobite paracord bracelet pattern. Starting with the right strand of paracord, go over the right outside cord, under the two center cords, and then over the left outside cord. Then with the left strand, go under the left outside cord, over the two center cords, and then under the right outside cord.
It's easy to get weird twists in your line as you're working, so take your time and untwist them as you go. Your paracord weave pattern should look something like this, and you'll continue the same pattern down the length of your paracord bracelet. I'm going to film the weave pattern a few more times at a different camera distance so you can see how it's done, but remember the weave pattern is the same as you work down to the end. Please stay with the video to the end to see important points and how to finish off the bracelet to get the best result. So again, the right strand of paracord goes over the right outside cord, under the two center cords, and then over the left outside cord, followed by the left strand going under the left outside cord, over the two center cords, and then under the right outside cord. Note how the left strand passes over the right strand when you tuck it under. Again, remove any twist that might appear and keep your work nice and tidy. After each weave, cinch up your knots towards the finish side to prevent too much slack. You want to cinch it up, but not too tight or the bracelet might be overly stiff. As you can see, the Trilobite Paracord Bracelet is an easy project and an original bracelet design. If you'd like to see the original Paracord Bracelet and how to tie it, then I highly recommend my video titled Easy and Original Paracord Bracelet. Link in the description and at the end of this video. Like I've mentioned, and you can now see, continue working your way down the length of the paracord bracelet using the same trilobite weave pattern. So now, as we near the end of the bracelet, I push up the previous weaves relatively tight to make a bit more room to finish it off. I'll slide them back down near the end and we'll see that in a moment. A couple more weaves. Right strand goes over the right outside cord, under the two center cords, and then over the left outside cord. left strand goes under the left outside cord, over the two center cords, and then under the right outside cord. If you understand the weave pattern now, hit the like button. When we reach the end of the bracelet, we'll complete our last full weave with both strands of paracord. Then we'll take the left strand and pass it under the left outside cord, and then over the two center cords as shown. Then adjust all of your weaves to balance them out and adjust the tension. You can see that I now have both of my working strands together on the back side of the bracelet. I do this so I don't have a melted end showing on the top side when I'm finished. So now, trim the ends of your paracord with your scissors, about a quarter of an inch away from the bracelet. And then carefully melt the two ends together, making sure you don't burn the back of your bracelet. With your scissors, give the ends a squish and flatten them into each other and down against the back. And now your finished bracelet should look something like this. So there you have it, the Trilobite Paracord Bracelet. Now as promised, here's a link to my video, the easy and original Paracord Bracelet. I hope you have a look. Now if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Okay? Thanks for watching.